Hey, what's going on everyone? Sam here from Lake Pro Tackle. Guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. We're gonna be continuing the unboxing series for some of these reels here. Already done the SLX, SLX DC, uh, Corrado reel. We're also gonna be doing a couple more. We're gonna be going uh, into some other companies' reels. We're gonna go with a Daiwa Tatula 70 SVTW in today's video. Uh, the Daiwa line, I haven't fished them a whole lot. I have a zillion, have a couple Tatula Elites, um, have the Tatula Flip Pitch, uh, but this Tatula 70 here has really amazed me. And you know, I want to talk about it today. We're gonna unbox this reel. If you're new to this series here, we're gonna open this reel up. Um, we're going to show you all the contents of the reel, all the cool technology, talk about some strengths that it has and talk about kind of how it was designed and uh, how it's supposed to be fished. So guys, if you aren't following along on our journey here on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see when we get new stuff in the store, uh, see when sales go live and all that. So go check that out, lakeprotackle.com as well. And uh, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing this Daiwa Tatula 70 SVTW. It's quite a mouthful, so I'm just gonna say Tatula 70 and that's it. So um, the Tatula line, uh, there's a lot of different reels in the Tatula line. You know, they've got the Tatula 70, 80, 103, 100, Elite, Elite Pitch Flip. Um, just a whole bunch of reels in that Tatula lineup. Now, what makes this one special is, of course, it has the SV and TW, which is going to be super versatile spool and T-wing system in it. So this reel right here um, has a bunch of cool technology that comes down from the Zillion and is introduced into this reel here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the box here before we talk about some of the different technologies such as the hyperdrive system, SV technology and all that. So as we open the box here, you're gonna notice that you've got a reel. It's got a little bit of plastic wrap on it. We'll get to that in a second, of course. Um, but some other contents of the box, you've got a parts list. And you know, if anything fails on your reel, I've never had any, any one of my Daiwa reels fail on me. Uh, screws are super snug in there. The clutch bar is very snug. Um, and we'll get into some of that technology as well. But if you do have issues with your reel, this is the parts list, it has every single part in there. You can look up exactly what part you need and you can order it just for your reel if it does happen to malfunction on you. But Daiwa has an amazing warranty, so I don't think you'll be needing it. Next up, Daiwa comes, uh, this, this reel comes with a kind of uh, caution warning thing that they have on all reels, you know, no matter what the company, but it also has some instructions on um, casting the zero adjustment knob on it and other cool things as well. So how to get the side plate off, anything that involves maintenance with this reel or just overall casting, this has all the information you need. So let's go ahead and hop into the main contents of the unboxing here, which is of course the reel. Comes in some uh, plastic wrap here, it's really standard. And right here, it is a absolutely beautiful reel. Uh, it's got a very um, dark gray, black, um, finish on it, it's got gloss on it. So um, you're, it's definitely gonna be shining when the sun's out. It has silver accents on the uh, nut cap over here as well as the thumb bar, as well as the T-wing system and the dial. So uh, other than being gray all around, there are some silver highlights and very, very clearly right off the bat, you can see the gear ratio right at the top of the reel right next to the um, adjustment knob or the tension knob as well as the name of the reel, Tatula SVTW70. So this reel right here, let's go ahead and hop into some facts about it. I'm just gonna read off the box here. Uh, we'll go down in order. I know about all the different technologies in it, so I'll explain those as we go. So the Tatula 70 SVTW uh, comes in three different gear ratios, a six, seven, and eight. And this reel right here only weighs 6.5 ounces, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, it is a smaller profile reel. And one thing I didn't mention here is there is a little bit of a spider Tatula um, symbol on the side plate of this reel. So a little cool detail. Um, a lot of people, I didn't notice it at first, but there's a little spider right there on the side plate. So 6.5 ounces, this is a very small reel. It's very comparable to something like um, the Shimano Alder Baron, not quite as light, but I think it makes up for it in the robustness that that extra weight provides. So we'll get more into that a little later. 
Max drag on this reel is gonna be 9.9 .9 pounds, which is very respectable for a reel of this size. And honestly, I really don't use over probably nine, 10, 12 pounds of drag anyway. You know, I, I've got a lot of Corrados, I've got a lot of um, Phantom, Metaniums, and those only boast around 12 to 14 pounds of drag. So this 9.9 .9 is very respectable, especially if I'm fishing like a jerk bait, finesse swim bait, something like that. And this reel was really designed to throw lighter lures, lighter crankbaits, um, almost to BFS status, but not quite. This one here um, is really good at doing a lot of different things. So uh, this is the seven speed here. This is a 70 H, um, which brings in 26.3 inches per turn. And I believe the XH, which is the fastest gear ratio, will do something around 32 ish inches per turn. This has seven ball bearing or se seven bearings in it, including one roller bearing, uh, and that's going to increase the smoothness of this reel. It is extremely smooth as you reel it. Um, I mean, can't even hear anything through that mic there, as well as you can't even feel anything as you're pushing it along. So, very very smooth. Um, let's hop into some of the different technologies of this reel here. There are quite a few uh, Japanese reels like Shimano and Daiwa, they have a bunch of different names for different technologies in the reel. Um, whether it has a huge form and function, not, don't really know, but all I know is this reel is extremely solid and casts extremely nice. So some things that help with the castability of this reel are gonna be the T-Wing system, of course, which is Daiwa's patented um, line management system to where when you click the um, thumb bar, it opens up and allows that line to easily flow through that main guide. So uh, if it's all the way on the left, you know, sometimes your um, guide is all the way on the left and your line is coming off the right, it opens it back up to where it almost can flow directly through the middle of this reel here, if that makes any sense. Uh, it just really opens up the amount of uh, distance that line has to travel, uh, which reduces friction and increases your efficiency on the water when you're casting. Next up is going to be the SV uh, spool technology, and the SV spool technology is super cool. Um, when the spool revs up, it's uh, the, the brake on it actually pushes closer to the side plate, and what happens there is it creates like an air brake, um, just the air pressure in there. Something. Some, te some weird technology that I can't perfectly explain without looking at a sheet of paper that has it on there. The, the SV technology, super cool. The way, I'll, I'll get the side plate off here in a second and show you the spool, but the spool actually, um, like I said, that a little piece of it pulls out and slows the um, bait down as you're throwing it. And then as it slows down on its descent, it's actually gonna start loosening your braking to give you a little extra push at the end. Uh, next up is gonna be the ultimate tournament drag. Uh, and that's just gonna be a mix of, uh, I believe it's uh, carbon, aluminum alloy, and I believe a steel uh, drag set of washers on here, as well as their special grease that they have on this reel to make the drag extremely smooth. And one thing I really love about Daiwa Shimano is that their drags are really, really smooth, even at load. You know, you put, a, I don't know, eight, 10 pounds of force on this thing with the drag crank down, and it's still very smooth. It's not slipping or anything like that. So super awesome drag. The hyperdrive design, there's a lot of different technology that goes into the hyperdrive design, um, and they all have different names. Uh, just listen off a few of them. Uh, that I remember is like hyperdrive uh, boost or something like that, which reduces spool uh, vibration. There's going to be one um, on the thumb bar, which is going to decrease the amount of space between the thumb bar itself and its moving parts. So when you click the thumb bar down, it is extremely crisp and it uh, minimizes the water that can get in and minimizes failure points on the reel. So. There's a lot of different things in this reel that make it super robust, but we're gonna go ahead and hop into some of its full features. Um, this reel here has very comfortable handles right off the bat. You know, you pick it up and you're like, wow, my hand really melds to these handles here. Um, the drag star on this is gonna be straight and pointed, five, uh, five pin uh, drag star, which is pretty standard on most Daiwa reels and it makes it pretty easy to pull um, to apply and uh, disengage the drag uh, with just your index finger 
from the reel. You know, I don't really have to change my grip any to change the drag. You know, if I'm fighting a fish and it's very crucial that I keep my hand on the handle to keep turning it, I can still turn that drag very easily. Next up is going to be the zero adjustment knob. And if you don't have a Daiwa yet and you're looking to get one, guys, head over to lightprotackle.com. Uh, we've got sales going on here and there, so go check them out online. Um, but the zero adjustment knob here allows you to effortlessly and seamlessly change your, uh, or change the amount of uh, braking you have on the reel. So the zero adjustment knob replaces your tension knob. It's still a tension knob and you can adjust it. However, Daiwa, uh, the company, you know, they've got computers that directly tune these in to where you have minimal side-to-side -side play on your spool. And all you have to do to adjust your reel, whether you're casting a Strike King 1.0 crankbait or something like a half ounce Texas rig, is the brake dial on the side here um, goes from zero to 20. Zero is gonna be the least amount of braking and it's gonna allow you to cast extremely great distances with a free spool. Uh, and that has to do with the SV spool technology. It brings that play a little bit closer and pulls it a little back um, from the spool itself and that technology that I'll show you here in a second, um, however that works. 20 is gonna be extreme braking. It's gonna be great for flipping. If you think of it like a Corrado DC or an SLX DC, uh, 20 is gonna be equivalent to like the number four on a, a DC, Shimano DC reel, where it's gonna apply very heavy braking and um, you're not gonna get a lot of distance on your cast, but if you're skipping or doing something like that, you're gonna have an amazing time where you don't even have to touch the spool. So let me go ahead and get a coin here. Um, and you will need a coin or a screwdriver to pop the side plate off. So let me get that real quick. All right, so I got my little coin here. Um, it's not hard at all to get the side plate off. It literally takes about two or three turns to get it off or loosened up and you can just use your finger uh, to turn it the rest of the way here. So we're gonna keep turning it off. It takes about, say, five full turns and then it pops up like this. It doesn't pop out, it pops up. So you're not gonna lose the little screw that keeps it on. It's not little either. Uh, it's actually a pretty good size screw. And then you just push it down like that. And then there you go. So this is the uh, side plate right here. Very clean looking side plate. And then here is that spool. So what's cool about the spool, again, if you see the orange section here, it actually moves in and out. So when that spool revs up, uh, what it's gonna do is that orange piece right here that applies braking is gonna pop up and get closer to the side plate here. And that creates um, some difference in air pressure as it spins and it's gonna slow it down. And then as it goes back down to the spool, it's gonna apply less braking to get you extra distance on your casting. So I hope I did an all right job uh, explaining that, although it's definitely a very interesting technology, um, that SV technology on it is extremely beneficial for extreme distance casting. So the spool here, um, very simple, just goes in like a normal spool um, and then put the side plate on, push it up and then lock it back down with a coin here. So uh, this is the Tutula SV TW70. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want any more information on this reel, like the specifics, uh, kind of what gear ratios they come in, comment down below. Let us know what reel we should do next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of this reel. If you want to pick one up, head over to lakeprotackle.com today. Go get one for yourself or friends or family. So guys, thank you for watching. We will catch you next time at Lake Pro Tackle.